We're interested in the kinds of ideas that dissolve boundaries, that reminds us of what is possible, that encourages us to think differently and to probe at the adjacent possible. There's a great line that says, once a mind is stretched by a new idea, it will never return to its original position. The kind of things that make us question everything. People of all ages come here and they all produce and publish. And so, it's up to us to get these kinds of ideas out in the world and collectively upgrade mankind. We have decided to undertake the NASA Space Apps Challenge in order to document the creation of ideas. This event has a history of six years in 180 locations and on six continents. More than 25,000 people gather every year for 48 hours to share their ideas to the world. We have talked to mentors and have tried to put the atmosphere of Skopje into a documentary. What makes leading an event like this special? Well, the energy and the collaboration between the contestants is, I think, the main thing which makes an event like NASA Space Up special. We need solutions. NASA Space Apps is led by the popular will of the smartest men and women in the world. Men and women who have come to leverage their brains to create a plan to make the world better. Now it all comes down to the fact that we need to take a cognitive leap. We need to realize that today everything is possible with existing technology. We change minds. We change paradigms. We can pull the present forward and meet and actualize any of those possibilities. That's what we do. We pull the present into the future. The future that we create, that we map out. We have a responsibility to all. Учесници на такви настани буквално се најголемите ресурси во науката за Република Македонија. I would love to go on Mars, but it's going to be really challenging and survival is going to be hard. Maybe, but I might and but I would like to do it in the future because right now if I go to Mars I wouldn't be able to survive. <laughs> you can eat Mars ice cream, which is a complete lie because it is nothing close to ice cream and it is really gross. And even and even astronauts don't like to eat it.